Hi everybody, I'm Kevin. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a technique I use to keep food cold in the backcountry. So stay tuned. So I just got back from a short little canoe trip with my daughter. We had a great time and made a video of our experience. If you want to see that video, you, I'll put a link to it right up here somewhere. Um, yeah, we had a good time. Lots of people are already asking us questions though about uh, because of that video about uh, how we kept our food cold. And in the freezer compartment, underneath all this insulation, and inside the plastic bag, we have our dinner for tonight and it's still quite cool. Oh, just thawed out but it's cold to the touch. So yeah, that's what I want to talk about, how we kept our food and how we kept it cold. This is an olive barrel that I like to use for canoe tripping, um, because you, partly because you can seal it up nice and tight and it reduces odors. Bears, bears are good at smelling stuff. Don't be fooled by zip, you know, Ziploc bags and and uh, tight containers like this. The bears will smell it no matter what it's in, but uh, you can reduce the odor that the bears get. Um, so that's what I like. That's what I like about this, and it's tough. You can. Uh, you know, it's not going to get crushed in your pack. Any, if you have crackers or something, they'll keep in there without getting smashed up. So, so I like that. I've got a little video on how I attach these U-bolts, uh, so I can hang the barrel in a tree, and I'll put a link to that video here. So this is the cooler. It's made of Reflectix. Reflectix is a uh, bubble wrap plastic kind of material with uh, um, reflective coating. And uh, it's easy to work with. You can get it at most hardware stores. A lot of uh, people that do backcountry camping use it to make pot cozies. And there's a great video about pot cozies and how to make them by Sean Emery, uh, Shug as he's known. So I'll put a link to his video here. You can use the same techniques to make a pot cozy as you do to make this. Except this, I uh, made it with three layers. That's all. Only difference. So uh, follow Shug's recipe and you'll be able to make one of these no problem. Um, the only difference though I would suggest is... I made this with three layers and uh, they're all sort of taped together and it's really tough to get out of the barrel. I, I ripped it a bit getting it out. Uh, it goes in pretty nice but it's hard to get out. So if you want to get it out I would actually make three different cozies that, uh, that nest inside each one. <clears throat> that way you can pull each one out easily. And what I'll do is I'll scrunch it up, I'll put it inside the olive barrel and make it fit the inside of the barrel. Then I'll grab a plastic bag. And I'll line my cooler with that plastic bag. That's so that anything that's uh, thawing out doesn't condensate and make a mess of my cooler. And then if I have any food items, I'll use tennis balls for food today. I'll throw them in there, close up the bag, and I've got four layers of Reflectix, individual layers. Um, small ones getting larger, and so the small one goes right in there nice and tight. So does the next one, and the larger ones um, fit very, very snug. And uh, so that's what will be on the inside of the olive barrel, and I'll pack more non-perishable food on top of that. Thanks for watching. You have a good day. And since I referenced Sean Emery's video, I thought I'd try and copy a few more of his tricks. Have a good day.